this is Katie. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some road trip hacks with you. Honestly, honestly, I don't really know if they count as hacks. <laughs> I think that they're just road trip ideas that I have. I have been on hundreds of road trips. I've even lived in my car on and off throughout my 20s and early 30s. And so I just have a lot of ideas about going on road trips that I wanna share with you. So I have a list on my phone of about 10 or 12. So number one is to have cash. I really do think that it's a good idea to have enough cash for like a hotel room, Room, for gas in your car and for food just in case what if you lose your wallet what if someone takes your wallet just in case have some cash and then the second hack is to have that cash and maybe even a prepaid card or a credit card separate from your wallet and from your debit card so yes in your wallet you know keep a debit card keep a credit card if you have one keep some cash sure keep it in your wallet in your purse in your pocket whatever but I really do think that it's a good idea to have some cash and then maybe a credit card and maybe even a prepaid visa or prepaid you know walmart gift card or whatever separate and hidden somewhere in your car just in case so the third one if we're talking about money this third one is a little bit more about saving money if we're talking about snacks if we're talking about food in general and water and stuff like that if we're talking about toiletries anything like that that you're going to just kind of be using day to day when you're on a road trip get as much of that as you can at a walmart at a target at a grocery store something like that versus at a gas station I know that when you're on the road buying things at gas stations and truck stops is easier more convenient stuff like that because they're right off the highway but when you can get the stuff out of Walmart or a Target or a grocery store or something like that because not only is it gonna be a lot cheaper most of the time sometimes gas stations have sales and stuff but most of the time it's gonna be a lot cheaper at a Walmart but also obviously Walmart's and stuff are gonna have more options for you to get obviously sometimes I still will buy snacks and stuff at gas stations but I do like to keep that at a minimum when I can. All right, so speaking of snacks, obviously have snacks and water in your car. That's not really a hack. Obviously, we all know to have snacks and especially water in your car that will last you at least a few days. But the hack part of it is to keep the snacks and keep the water out of the sun. And so find like the coldest spot in your car and find a spot in your car that the sun does not directly hit very much and keep your snacks and your water there. For me, it's right here, like behind my front seats, right on the floor in the middle. Yes, it does still get hot there, but generally the sun does not hit it, so it does not get as hot there. And then obviously, if your water bottle, especially if you have a plastic water bottle, if it does get hot and you can tell that it got hot, it's not really a good idea to drink that water if it's in a plastic water bottle. So I also do recommend having like a reusable water bottle like this and you can fill it up kind of anywhere. There's a lot of like public water fountains at the gym, sometimes at Target, sometimes at libraries, at gas stations, you know, and so fill it up with ice, fill it up with water. But I do still think it's a really good idea to have like a plastic jug of water, again, just in case, but just make sure that you keep it out of the sun. If you have a cooler, obviously that would help, but even if you don't have a cooler, just make sure that it's out of the sun hidden underneath something, something like that. And just make sure that you have a lot of snacks and if anything is uh, meltable, is that a word? Make sure that it's just out of the sun. The next little good travel idea that I have is buying this thing. This is a little snack tray, meal tray, desk. I love this, it's like $15 on Amazon. I'll have mine linked below. When I'm on the road, I use this all the time, especially when I'm eating, I'll use this a lot. But then also if I'm gonna be editing a video or something in the car, which I used to do all the time, obviously sometimes I go to libraries or coffee shops or whatever, but sometimes I would just like to sit in the car and edit and I would use this to hold my computer. This is, by the way, did I even say what it is? This is a steering wheel desk or tray or whatever. And so it just literally hooks onto your steering wheel. I don't wanna move the camera, so I don't wanna show you, but it just hooks onto the steering wheel. Um, but on the bottom and then it just hooks right on and it's really easy and it hooks onto most steering wheels so just kind of double check before you buy it but it is just a genius idea if you are going to be working a lot in your car if you like write a lot journal a lot or whatever or for snacks and for meals this is genius and it does not take up a lot of space because it's so thin so does that count as a hack i don't know do any of these i don't know but they're good ideas okay so it's a really good idea to have if you're going to be going on a road trip so the next little travel hack or really good travel idea is actually an app and honestly i am pretty minimal when when it comes to the apps that I use when I'm on road trips, but this app, oh my goodness. When I discovered this app, I was like, this is an absolute game changer for people who go on road trips. So it's called Weather on the Way, and I actually do want to thank Weather on the Way for sponsoring this video, but honestly, I think it's like an incredible idea. So Weather on the Way is an app for your phone that literally will tell you the weather for every spot on your road trip, which I think is literally a genius idea. Say you are in 
right now, like I'm in Florida, right? So say I wanna drive from say Orlando to Austin, Texas. And you can even do multiple stops by the way, which I think is very cool too. But say I'm just doing Orlando to Austin. It will basically tell me the weather for every like hour or two that I'm gonna be on the road. Like it will tell me like the actual temperature outside. It'll tell me if it's supposed to rain or storm or snow. It'll tell me the road conditions. And also what I think is like one of the really cool parts is that you can also choose your departure time. So say I wanna leave like tomorrow morning. This will tell me the weather that's supposed to happen tomorrow morning if I'm leaving from Orlando and driving to Austin. When you're on the road, you can even monitor the live weather conditions through your Apple CarPlay, which is really cool too. So it'll just like tell you live updates if there's gonna be a storm or something. And I think just in general, it's like a good safety app to have, you know what I mean? Like getting caught in a snowstorm when you don't know what's gonna happen is a little bit dangerous. And so if you can prepare for it, whether you know that it's gonna happen so you can prepare for it that way, or you can actually be like, you know what? There's gonna be a snowstorm tomorrow that I didn't actually really know about. So let me leave, you know, next week or whatever. I just think it's a really genius idea. And of course you guys know I have a discount code for you. And so Weather on the Way has a free seven day trial and then it's $25 a year after that. So just a little over $2 a month. But with my code that I'll have here and I'll have all the links and stuff in my description, with that code, you'll get 10% off. And so yeah, again, I wanna thank Weather on the Way for sponsoring this video. And so just check out that link in my description. All right, these next couple also have to do with your phone. And so the next one, which honestly, like I cannot do without this. Is that bug inside or outside? You're outside, okay. This next little hack, I honestly do all the time, even if I'm not really traveling, but I'm just maybe going to a new town that's only 20 minutes away from me that I haven't ever been to, or if I'm literally just going downtown in the city I live in, if I live in a city, I will still use this hack all the time. It is simply to take a screenshot on your phone of where your car is parked. That's all it is, but it's just like the best hack. So just go to your maps on your phone and just find where your car is parked, like that little blue dot and just zoom in until you can see the road names and then just take a screenshot of it just in case you forget where your car is parked, which I do sometimes. And this will be really, really helpful. Another screenshot that I always take when I'm on a proper road trip, especially if I'm going somewhere I've never been or I'm gonna be driving for a long time and especially out west where sometimes I lose phone service or really honestly, I live in Florida right now and sometimes I lose phone service here. So I think this is a good hack to do wherever you are, but especially if you're going somewhere that you've never really been before is to take a screenshot of the directions. So, you know, go to your maps, take a screenshot of the actual map but also take a screenshot of the written out directions just in case you lose service. I literally did this yesterday. I'm in Florida right now and I was driving yesterday an hour away from my house and I got up the directions and I got up the written out step-by-step -step directions and I took a screenshot of it just in case I lost service because sometimes even in Florida, my phone loses service. So I think that's a really good idea just so you have a picture of it. And then obviously if you want a physical map, that's a really good idea as well. But if you don't want to like deal with a physical map, at least have a screenshot screenshot of where you're going so that if your map doesn't work because you lose service, then at least you'll have a picture of it. And then one other thing to do just in case you might lose service is to download things onto your phone. I know that some of us might use Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music, whatever, but we're using it like through our phone service so that if you do lose service, you might not have access to it. So just in case, you know, download some music. I don't know how Spotify works because I'm an Apple Music girl, but there's an option at least on Apple Music to download those songs or those albums so that I can listen to them even if I don't have service. So if you are a podcast person, download some podcasts. If you are an audiobook person, download some audiobooks, you know, because obviously we are so used to being able to rely on having internet service at all times, but there are just times I have experienced this so many times throughout my travels that I'll lose service for an hour, for five minutes, for three hours. And sometimes I don't really know when that's going to happen. And so I just think that taking those few precautions could be really helpful because again, sometimes you don't know when it's going to happen. <laughs> so just in case. Okay. So another Another just in case you might lose service one is to let someone know where you are. I don't really recommend letting like the general public, like your Instagram or something, knowing exactly where you are and where you're going minute by minute. But I do think that it's a really good idea to let like one of your parents know, or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, one of your friends, your husband, your wife, whatever. I think it could be a good idea to just let someone in your personal life know, hey, I might lose service, I don't know, but I am here right now and my ETA is to be here at this time. Just let them know and also, 
to let them know that you might lose service, you know? Like I generally will let like my parents know if I'm about to lose service and maybe one or two of my closest friends or if I'm dating someone, I'll let them know if I might lose service that day just so that they're not worried, but also just so that they do know where I'm supposed to be at what time. And so that if something bad does happen, at least someone will know where you're supposed to be, you know, so that they can actually get you help just in case. Okay, the next one is get gas, even when you don't think you need to, especially again, if you're more out west, because when you're out east, when you're like more on the east coast, even in the Midwest, Tennessee, you know, even those kind of places, there are generally gas stations on the highway every few exits, you know, every few minutes. But once you get more out west, sometimes you can go 45 minutes or an hour without seeing a gas station, sometimes even longer, depending where you are. And so I always recommend, especially if you're out west, but honestly, even if you're on the east coast too, and especially if you're going somewhere where you've never really been before, to not let your gas tank go below like a half a tank of gas, which I know might sound a little intense. And honestly, I don't even always follow this rule if I know where I am. But again, if you're going to someplace you've never been before and you're in the middle of Wyoming, honestly, I would just kind of stop every time you see a gas station if you're anywhere near half a tank, at least a third of a tank, you know, just in case, just in case. You do not want to get stranded because your car ran out of gas. You know what I mean? And then while you're at those gas stations, use the restroom, use the restroom. Okay. Just, you never know. Okay. So even if you don't exactly have to go at that moment, just go anyway. <laughs> Okay, and then the last little hack actually has to do with uh, using the restroom. Have a pee cup in your car, just in case, okay? I actually have two of them. One of them is a Trenta reusable Starbucks cup, just like one of those like plastic, it was like $3, I got it like five years ago, Trenta big cups. But I also have like literally a pee cup that my mom actually got me from Amazon, I think for, you know, like 10 or $15 or something that uh, is just specifically for women a pee cup just in case just in case they do come in handy when you're on log road trips if you're in the middle of nowhere whatever just have one in the car they don't take up a ton of space but also just make sure that you keep that separate especially if it's gonna be like a Starbucks reusable cup make sure that you keep that separate from the water bottles that you're gonna be drinking out of but anyway, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that some of these tips were helpful maybe for your next road trip. I wanna thank Weather on the Way again for sponsoring this video. I really do think that their app is a genius idea. So if you wanna check it out, I'll have the link in my description. Let me know in the comments what your best road trip hack or road trip tip is. Obviously, I only gave you like 10 or 12 in this video. There are dozens. So let me know what your favorite one is in the comments and maybe I can do like a part two to this video at some point. I really hope that you're subscribed for some travel and road trip videos like this one and also just some lifestyle videos and vlogs and stuff like that but yeah I guess that's gonna be it thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day I love you Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later bye